Welcome to Electron Online. When you're faced with something that looks kind of complicated like this, there's different ways in which we can approach it, and this is just one of the many ways. But I like this way because it simplifies things right up front. Whenever we see like a cube root or a fourth root or a fifth root, and we want to simplify these radicals, we want to find multiples of the root. So in this case, notice we have x to the fifth, which can be broken up into the following. This can be written as the square root, or not the square root, but the cube root of 9x to the third x squared. Notice that when I multiply, I get x to the fifth back. And this can be written as y to the fourth times y. Oop, not to the fourth. I want this, this to be y to the third times y. When I multiply, I get y to the fourth back, divided by the cube root of 4 times z to the 6th times z. Again, when I multiply, I get z to the 7th. Now, why did I do that? Because whenever I have a, a power that's a multiple of the root, I can take it outside the radical. So this can be written as, notice I can pull out an x and I can pull out a y. So this becomes x times y, and I'm, what I have left, I have the cube root of a 9, x squared, and y to the first power. In the denominator, I can do the same thing. I have z to the sixth, I take the cube root of that, I get z squared. I take the power and divide by the root, I get z squared, and then I have left the cube root of four times z. All right, now I'm in pretty good shape, except I have a radical in the denominator. I'm trying to get rid of that, so what should I multiply things by in order to get rid of the radical? So I'm gonna multiply that times the cube root of something and the cube root of something. What is that something? Well, we'll figure it out. We want something here so that when I multiply it together, I get, well, I get something that I can take the cube root of. For example, 2, because 2 times 4 gives me 8, and the cube root of 8 is equal to 2. And I write z squared because z squared times z gives me z cubed, and the cube root of z cubed gives me z. So whatever I multiply the denominator with, I must multiply the numerator as well. So let's see what that looks like now. So this looks like x, y times the cube root of 9 times 2, which is 18, x squared, y, and z squared. In the denominator, I end up with z squared times the cube root of 4 times 2, which is 8, and z times z squared, which is z cubed. And there you can see that I can now simplify this by factoring out an 8 and a z. So this becomes equal to, the numerator stays as x times y times the cube root of 18x squared yz squared. And in the denominator, notice I can pull out a 2 and one more z. So this becomes 2z to the Second power plus one is third power in the denominator, so I get rid of the radical in the denominator, and that's as simple as I can write it. Let's try it again on this example right here. Again, I can write this as the cube root of, notice 32 can be written as, hmm, how about eight times four? How about eight times four? That will work, eight times four, because eight times four is 32, and I can take the cube root of eight, which is equal to two. Then I can also write x cubed and x to the second power. When I multiply, I get x to the fifth back, and I have a y, all divided by, in the denominator, I get the cube root of z cubed times z, and when I multiply, I get z to the fourth back. So now you can see that I can start pulling or factoring out some content. So I have the, the cube root of 8 is simply equal to 2. The cube root of x cubed is equal to x. And that leaves me with the cube root of 4x squared y divided by the cube root of z cubed is equal to z. So z times the cube root of z. All right, now we need to rationalize the denominator. So I need the z cubed in the denominator. So I'm going to multiply this times the cube root of z squared because z squared times z gives me z cubed. And of course, I need to do the same with the numerator. Multiply times the cube root of z squared. When I do that in the numerator, I get 2x times the cube root of 4x squared 
y z squared. In the denominator, I get z times the cube root of z cubed, the cube root of z cubed. And of course, that simplifies simply to z, so this can then be written as 2x times the cube root of 4x squared y z squared. And in the denominator, I can write this as z times z or z squared. And that is how we simplify something that looks as bad as that. That's how it's done.